Hey guys, welcome to another episode on your favorite channel. So today I'm going to describe indices uh, in uh, SQL Lite. So uh, what they are for? Uh, indices are basically techniques that you are going to use in order to make uh, searching through your database much faster. They are uh, usually compared with uh, indices on books. Uh, so situation when you put some index on some uh, page in the book that you would like to find much faster later on. Well, with databases, indices uh, have the same purpose, but uh, they uh, are working in much uh, different uh, way. Well, in what way indices actually uh, work? Usually, when you search through your table, SQL database uh, takes a look at uh, primary key and then uh, on uh, data associated with it. But with indices, uh, things are reversed. Uh, database first uh, take a peek at uh, values that are sorted in alphabetical order and later on uh, on uh, primary key and data associated with it. In that way, uh, your uh, searching through database is much faster faster. Uh, but you don't have to exaggerate uh, with uh, these uh, indices. Uh, if you do so, usually you could uh, make things uh, much worse than before. Uh, so uh, use indices only when absolutely necessary. And uh, with uh, SQLite, uh, usually you are never going to use them uh, because SQLite is actually type of database where you don't expect uh, a huge amount of data. You actually Actually don't expect your database uh, to grow to some enormous size. Uh, well, uh, if you have database uh, in size less than one gigabyte, you know there is no point in making uh, indices. But if you want to migrate to some bigger systems uh, like MySQL or SQL uh, Server, you are definitely going to take care and learn uh, how to use indices. There is command for creating indices and there is command uh, for uh, dropping or deleting indices. Uh, and that's all. And now I'm going to show you both of them. So in here uh, you have uh, this uh, indices part in our uh, database structure and now I'm going to show you how to create indices and how to drop them. So uh, open your execute uh, SQL tab and type create index then name of uh, your index uh, let's say item index. Uh, so I'm using this database uh, from our uh, previous episode and item index is going to be created uh, on item table and on column name. And I'm going to run this code. Item name does not exist. Let me check. Oh, it's item name actually. item name. I'm going to execute this now and now everything looks fine. Let us check our database structure. So in here uh, we have uh, item index and if you open item index you're going to see uh, that item index is on item name column. Uh, and uh, what else you could do? You could uh, create uh, indices on two uh, columns like this. Now I'm going to create cashier, cashier index on cashier and one is going to be on name and another is going to be on second name. And what else you can do? Uh, you could uh, create unique index and what this is going to do. This is going to prevent user from uh, inserting uh, two exact the same values in one column. So if you want to prevent that, you could use this uh, unique uh, index command, but I don't want to do that. And if I run this code, you see everything went well. Let's check our structure. So we have uh, this item index and we have cashier index, you see. And uh, there is, of course, command for uh, dropping index. It's actually quite easy thing to do. Only thing that you have to type is 
drop drop index and the name of your index cashier index and you're going to execute that and everything of course it's fine let us check database structure and now we are going to delete this item index but in one different way drop if exists okay and now i'm going to run this code you see everything went well so uh what is the difference in between a uh, drop index and drop index if exist if you use drop index command what is going to happen if that index does not exist uh, this command is going to return error but if you use this uh, drop index if exists uh, if you uh, run this command on a non-existing index, uh, nothing's going to happen. Uh, if that index exists, that index is going to be deleted. So actually point is that uh, you are going to use one or the another depends on uh, whether you want uh, error or not. So basically that is all what indices are. I hope that you have uh, learned something interesting and that you are satisfied with this content. So take care and see you around.